Well, hello everybody. It's Lil Rhonda Lee, and I'm here today to share with you a Halloween mini album that I uh, made. So uh, I'd like to wish you all a belated Happy Halloween. <laughs> I uh, started this before Halloween, but uh, I was really busy, and um, I didn't have a chance to finish it before Halloween. So I finished it up anyway, and it's um, a TP mini album. Um, so before we get going here. I'll get your drinks here. I got some wine. Cheers. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I just like to do a TP mini album once in a while. And um, I still had plenty of Halloween goodies left from um, my winnings a long time ago from um, Cynthia Scrappy Bookworm when I first be, um, got onto YouTube. Um, I entered a giveaway. It was one of the first giveaways I ever entered, and it, the win, uh, the prize was um, a collection of a whole big box full of Halloween stuff, and uh, I won, and I'll never forget it. <laughs> and I made, I've made a couple albums with it. I made this one now, and Cynthia, if you're watching, I still have stuff left. <laughs> if you can believe that, so I broke it out this Halloween. And uh, to make this TP mini album. Okay, so um, I guess I'll start with the, the fibers here. Um, I just put a whole bunch of different ribbons. There's some with spider webs and spiders and laces. And there's some purple eyelash trim and some unfun fur stuff. <laughs> and um, there's all kinds of ribbons and things. And um, I made a little charm. It's buried in here somewhere here. Let's see. Oh, geez. It's all tangled now. Well, okay. It has... It's like a um, cameo, but it's like a, a scary skeleton lady. <laughs> and I just made some bead dangles. Various beads. I had my stash. And then I got this cute idea from, I think, Nurse Tara, um, where she took some beads and she made like a little witch. So that's sort of what I did there. <laughs> I just colored this um, this piece I had here um, black with, with a Sharpie and just added beads and stuff. So it looks like a little witch. I really like that. So yeah. So I bound it um, with my uh, bind it all. Here's the back. And what I did to get this, this is so awesome, I think, this um, finish on here on the covers is, believe it or not, I found some nail polish at the dollar store. And it's this stuff. It's by Sally Hanton. It's crackle overcoat and it's black with sparkles really awesome and I had some purple nail polish also so I put the purple on first then I put this on top and it cracked and it's fantastic I love the way that looks check that out isn't that cool sorry for the reflection so anyway so um that's what I did there I used the nail polish again to paint uh, the skeleton I had and um the witch in the haunted house here. I um, stamped with embossing, um, you know, I stamped it with my stamps from Irene that she gave me in Iraq. Thank you, Irene. I finally got to use them. And then I embossed it with um, some black kind of glittery embossing powder. Cut them out and used them there. And then this spider web, it's like a metallic silver. I um, you, I, bought, I got that from um, when I went to the, my trip on Monterey and Irene brought all her dyes and these are this is one of the things I cut out with um, using her dyes so thanks again Irene <laughs> and uh, so yeah I couldn't wait to use that spider web it's awesome and then I just had um, some sticker stickers here this is Halloween and uh, that's about it for the cover there so um, I put this little button thing I've had this thing forever I don't even know where I got it but I finally used it I glued it on there with um, some, um, what's it called, B6000 stuff. 
on there and then I just used like a you know a hair tie for the closure there okay so that just unhitches like that and let's go inside oh uh, first in the cover and then yeah I got a tag here I just put little stickers on the tabs there Okay, so this first page here um, is this cool cat cut out. It says beware, and I put some um, glitter on his eye and uh, made a little little tag here. The paper and, and glittered these eyes too a little. And I um, used my uh, Tim Holtz um, gears, you know, die, cut out some gears, and then. Um, did the same technique as the cover on it and had the sticker and then some purple unfun fur. And if you're wondering why I, I call it unfun fur, <laughs> if you d don't already th know this yourself, <laughs> it's because have you ever tried to tie it in a knot? It will not tie in a knot. I'm telling you, it's, it's frustrating. <laughs> okay, so this page, um, I, uh, used some of the paper and I glittered his eyes too and I uh, used my Martha Stewart punch to make this little like pocket thing here and some stickers it says crazy night and then I put some little tags in here and I cut out and used some stickers on them some ribbon one's a little bat this one says trick or treat and I bought a bag of uh, Halloween rings you know and so there were some bat ones <laughs> so I just uh, use that. That goes in there. And then there's that photo mat there. Okay. So this next page, I think this one's my favorite. This one here. It's like the witchy page. And I use a lot of different things here. Um, Mary Terry gave me um, these. They had like toothpicks in them. You could put them on cupcakes or something like that. Uh, the witch's hat. And then I glittered the band and then I put this blingy thing on there. Oops. And I made a couple tags here. I come out. You can see the witch back there. And um, I got these kitty cutouts um, from. Irene, and when I was in Monterey, also I cut out some black kitties, and then I just outlined it in a little bit of glitter there. So I made these tags, and I put them on some. This is like black glitter paper. I don't know if you can tell, but anyway. And then um, this here is um, from a pocket letter that I got in Monterey um, that Christina Betts made for me, and it was a Halloween themed one. So thank you, Christina. It says, come sit for a spell. It's a paper clip. And so I just clipped it on there. I thought it just matched perfect. That's like my favorite page, I think, right there. And this page um, is like all kind of in, in black and orange and white. And um, it's a, a really cool page design that I learned from um, Faithful Designs by Christy. I'll put the link to her below if you don't know already know her. She's fantastic. She makes great mini albums and everything. But she um, taught me how to make this really cool TP roll page design. And what it is, is that you have a pocket here on the side. So I just stuck some of these goodies in here. I made this little tag. So there's a pocket there. And then there's a little pocket here also. And I put a couple tags here that I made. Use some sequins and some stickers. It just goes in there. And that's that page. So cute with all those stickers. I really like the way this turned out. So fun. Okay. So the other side of that page is the same thing. When you put this together, then you it's a double-sided deal. So this one 
his um, cats, black cats. And um, I use a lot of glitter and stickers and unfun fur and uh, all that kind of stuff. And made a little tag here. And then this comes out here. So yeah, thank you Christy for this page design. It's really awesome. I really love that. Really great. So then the next page here, um, I carried this paper over to this side and I made like a belly band here and I used some, um, some black lace and this ribbon that I think I got it in a pocket letter or something. And some uh, spider, another one of those plastic rings and um, some unfun fur. <laughs> And I made this this tag here, and then there's also this guy. <laughs> and you could you know put a picture back here. It just goes back in there, and then just uh, pull out. Okay. And this page is also one of Christie's designs, and I'll show you why. Um, you can put a photo here and you tuck it under there and everything, and um, it, there's a top loading pocket also in this one. So I made this tag here, and that goes in the top. And then it also folds up like this. So I left that for some bigger pictures here. Isn't that awesome? I love that. Glittered up their eyes and around the ghost there. Okay, so here's the next page. And I got these flowers from Christina Betts in my pocket letter. Thank you, Christina. Use some unfun fur around them and use my stickers and some of the sequins I got from Christina also. There. And um, let's cut this out with my um, one of my dies. So I made a couple tags. These are tags here that come out. So that just goes back in there. And there's a pull out for this one. So this page here, I used um, one of these slide um, things that actually I got from Vicki Smith um, in a rack. Thank you, Vicki. And so I um, embossed it with that black glitter, sparkly glitter. And um, then I had uh, this pumpkin, beaded pumpkin in my stash and made some flourishes with some uh, beads. And then it says in the middle here, who's there? And then this comes out. So you can put a photo back there or, or on here. And this ribbon was also gifted to me from Christina in a pocket letter. And it says, boo. I love that ribbon. It's so cool. So that just goes back in there. Put some sequins in the corners there. Some green sequins. And then this is the last page. And I took another one of those skeletons and I glittered it, him up in orange. And then I uh, made a little, a little booklet, like a little book here. It says Hocus Pocus. And it has some fibers and some beads there. And the ribbon tying it around. So it just opens up. And I made the cover with it. Um, it's a little bag, actually. This was a little black bag. So that's like the flap to the bag. And I just turned it into a book. And the pages inside, I love these pages. It's like it's a wax paper with text on it. And I got it um, at the Daiso store. Uh, it's really awesome. I really, really love it. 
so I had to make something with it right away. <laughs> so there's my little little Hocus Pocus book. And um, I popped this up here. I put a sticker and popped it up. So it kind of makes like a little pocket to hold that. And then there's the um, last pull out in here. Just the paper over here. So there you go. There's my Halloween TP mini album. I hope you like it. I really like the way it turned out. It's just fun. One of those fun things to do. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you think. <laughs>